Holy crap. There's two huge bucks. Running a doe right up here. You're going to have to excuse my crap calling. I never call. I never do any of that. And they were going the wrong way. They, were, they popped out of this bottom beside me. And they went up the ridge. But they were going toward the other spot I usually hunt. Of course. Whoa. They're fighting. up there <clears throat> they were fighting and they're running a doe this is nuts I just shot an eight pointer earlier this morning and now I got two bill two bucks bigger than that over here on this ridge They're all over this dough. I gotta get ready. All right, guys. Um, it's been a wild couple of days. This has been crazy deer season. It's been awesome. I've seen more deer this year than I've ever seen. Uh, Last week, things kind of slowed down a little. I saw two bucks on Thanksgiving morning. One was a, it had been a six pointer all season. I'd seen him five or six times. And I guess fighting, he lost one of his, he lost a side, so he was just a three. And then I seen a really nice eight pointer. And uh, I never could get a shot on him. He just stayed in too much thick stuff, and I wasn't willing to take the shot. So, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, after that, I didn't see a thing. I mean, nothing. It was like the woods were just dead. And I'd been seeing a lot of scrapes opening up and rubs, like, really fresh. So I knew things were fixing to get real good. And uh, this weekend, Friday morning... I went out and I hunted this spot I'm in right now. And I had a a decent eight pointer come in chasing a doe, but they never got closer than like 60 yards. And uh, so yesterday it was raining. I went in. Most people say they see a lot of deer in the rain, kill their biggest bucks in the rain. I've never had any luck in the rain. Even hunting it right after it quits. Like, I've just never seen any deer. So, yesterday morning I thought, there's been a spot I've been wanting to try all season, and I haven't tried it. And so I thought, it's raining anyway. It's supposed to rain all morning. I'll just go in there and try that new spot out and just see what happens. I had several reasons why I liked that spot, but I had, the way it set up, <laughs> is there was a pretty steep ridge right behind me. I was literally right up against it. And then there was nothing but just like junk trees all around. And then there was two big white oaks about 20 yards in front of me. And there was a pine thicket up above me, a bedding area. And I've seen tons and tons of does come out of that. and. On down from it, probably, I don't know, a quarter mile. It's it's a good ways from where I was at. But on the other end of that ridge, on the spine coming off of it, it's eat up with huge rubs, scrapes, all kind of stuff. So, 
I've been after this monster 10 pointer since Halloween, since before Halloween. I've only seen him one time. So yesterday morning I'm sitting there in the rain and the rain picks up and it gets pretty heavy. So I put my hood on and I put my knees up against the tree and I wasn't sitting like that for 30 seconds. And I heard something, I looked down and a doe ran underneath me, wide open. She had two different six pointers right behind her and I'm scrambling around like in a frenzy trying to figure out what to do because they were literally on top of me. And it was pouring down rain. And I look back and there's that daggum 10-pointer. He was running like his tail was on fire. He comes flying in through there and I never could get a shot on him. I tried to stop him. I was going, Matt, Matt. He wouldn't stop. I said, hey. He just kept, he just kept on hauling. So... It is what it is. I was kind of bummed about that. But I was glad to see he's made it this far. I mean, if he can make it till January 1st, this public closes down. And as long as he stays on the public, he'll be fine. So, I was tickled about that. And so, this morning, I decided to come in back where I seen the eight-pointer I got another buck. All right, guys, I just tracked blood maybe, I don't know, 80 yards from where I shot this buck at. Here's your first look at him. I thought he was an eight. He's down in this freaking ravine. I got down there and counted. He's got kickers coming off the back. He's a nine, he's he's a full nine pointer. They'll have to, I'll have to measure them. A couple of them are kind of small, but he's, they're almost long enough for him to be an 11 pointer. Sliding down here, I gotta hurry because I gotta get this deer out of here to the processor and to my daughter's birthday party. But he, he's got his head right around this tree. Hold on. He's not the widest track deer I've ever killed, I don't think. But he's got one, two, three, four. This one's a five for sure. Six, seven, eight, nine. Then he's got this kicker, this blade off the back that splits. It's cool. He's got one coming off the side right here that's pretty cool. I mean, check this deer out. He's got all kind of character. It's freaking sweet. And I got him on my compound. I'm so proud, guys. I mean, that's a hoss for me. And on public land to boot. It just goes to show you. If you stick with it and push hard enough, you'll get him. I mean, look at that blood trail. I'll relate. I mean, it was a, there was an awesome blood all the way down here. Those swackers really got him. Here's your entrance hole going in. I don't know how big the exit hole was. Look at this exit, guys. I mean, jeez. That's a freaking exit hole. Black girls with full plaster. Well, I'm officially sold on them. God, oh, what a beautiful deer. Alright, guys. I'm working on getting out of here so I can get my deer. Check this out. Swacker, full plaster on that big nine pointer, almost an 11 pointer because of the kickers. Didn't bend a blade. They're still pretty sharp. I mean, I've never been a mechanical guy, but that exit wound was massive. It was killer blood all the way to him. Not a problem finding that deer. Get this cleaned up. Alright guys, I'm headed out in this bottom right now to try to go uh, recover my deer. He's uh, always oh, beautiful. I, honest to goodness, when I saw him this morning when I shot him, I thought he was an 8. I texted everybody said, hey, I just smoked a giant 8-pointer. I thought he was a good 8. I was happy with that. Um, 
not long after that, there was two even bigger bucks than that, like visually bigger bucks, up on this ridge above me, fighting and running a doe all over the place. Like they've been wild today. It's been it's been crazy. The last three days has been insane out here. I've seen bucks every day I've been out here. The last three days. Big bucks. Some small ones, but I've seen some big ones too. So now those are deer tracks. That's a giant deer track. Um, anyways. Now I'm on my way up here to get this guy. I mean I couldn't be happier. My biggest buck before this was a seven pointer I shot last year. Got it with a crossbow. Um, technically, it was my first archery buck, the crossbow. If I know some people won't want to call it that, but it is what it is. It's still archery. Um, I got a three pointer this year. I shot with my compound. And the reason I shot him, I know he was just a three, but I needed meat. And I was sick of waiting. And, uh, I was kind of frustrated because I had done missed a doe before that. But, uh, so I had a good shot on him. He stood there too long and I, I let him have it. But it was my first buck with a compound bow. That was another reason for me letting one fly on him. And it's just been a, a wild ride this season. This has been my best season ever. Even before I shot this buck, this has been my best season. I've seen more deer this year than I ever have anywhere. I've been hunting hard every Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Rain or shine, I've been out here hunting somewhere. And uh, it's just been a, it's been a joy, it's been a blessing to be out here. I love it. I wouldn't want to do anything else. I've let so many, I've let so many bucks walk this year because I've seen a 10 pointer back around Halloween. And I've been after him. And so I've let several bucks, good bucks, walk since then, trying to get to him. Finally this morning, I was like, you know, there's a gun hunt coming up in a few days on this WMA. And if he gets out wild after some doe like he was the other day and makes a mistake, somebody will drop his butt. I could have dropped him if I'd have had a rifle. He was just going too fast to get him with a bow. But, so, anyways... I seen this, like I said, what I thought was an eight pointer come in this morning on me. I watched him, he come in quick, and I, I, I'll admit, I suck at self filming. He came in quick, and I didn't get time by the time I spotted him to get my main big camera turned on and on him. So all I got was the footage from the GoPro, but I got the shot footage from the GoPro and all that. Golly, good looking. I mean, a good looking deer. He's just slick. I'm fixing to get him good real quick. He's got this kicker coming off the back, off the brow tine. I mean, he's got another one that was starting to come on this side. He would have been a monster. Another couple years, but he messed up and walked in front of me, so that's the end of his story. Thanks. I'll catch you guys in the next one.